Welcome back, or welcome to another episode of Scam Reviews. If you're new here, this is a series where I rewatch and review every single episode of Scam. I recently finished watching seasons one and two of Scam Friends, and I am now watching the third season of Scam Friends, which is pretty cool. If you haven't listened to my reviews for the first two seasons, feel free to check those out. And um, remember to like, if you're viewing this on YouTube, pre please like. It would be much appreciated. And subscribe and share. Feel free to do all of that. So for this episode, I'm going to be talking about season three, episode two. Yeah, so I started watching season three and I'm happy again. Season one and two, which is they kind of took something out of my soul that I don't think I can get back. So I think I'm hoping season three could revive my 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 happiness. Just 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 to feel something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're watching season three, episode two today. Um, not don't remember what happened in this in this episode. I haven't watched it in a while, so this is all kind of new to me. Which is very it's very different because I went to seasons one and two, knowing everything that happens because I did watch season one and two of OG Scam. And I did watch season two, three of OG Scam, but like, I don't know why everything, I can't remember much. Maybe it's because it's the season that I watched the least. It's not like I don't love season three. I freaking love season three with everything in my in my heart. I don't know what it is. I think I was just more obsessed with season two when I was a teenager first watching this show because Nora and William were the shit. Anyways, let's get started with season three, episode two, roll intro. Hell yeah, let's talk about scam, bitches. Okay, friends. Um, let's do a really short recap. I mean, nothing happened really in the last episode. Um, all we learn is that me, um, Luca is living with Mika and Lisa in a new apartment. Manon is in London with Charles and their three children. Luca meets this girl, Chloe, who really, really, really likes him, but he clearly does not feel the same way he is not about chloe he is about elliot who we meet later on in the episode elliot is everything elliot is life we love elliot his hair is amazing we meet luca's friends they're um interesting i basil is just i don't know how i feel about him i don't know i don't know um i love Artur though and yon is fine i don't really care about yon don't care about the Jonas's. We finished off the last episode with Luca meeting Elliot for the first time, like introducing himself and and then Chloe just getting in the middle of them, which was just, oh, okay. Miss Chloe, read the room, read the room, sweetheart. And yeah, that was, that's, that's all that happened last episode. Now let's get into episode two, friends. I also want to really quickly thank you for the ones who um, listened to the last review. Um, I was really happy with the with the amount of people that decided to listen, decided to click, maybe not listen, but just clicked, and then listened for like five seconds and then left. Okay, let's get into the episode. No more stalling. Okay, so now it's Saturday. We open up with Lynn and Luca watching television, and Luca is stalking Mr. Elliot on social media. I mean, same. And then Mika is there now, and he is demanding rent from Luca. And Luca doesn't have the money um, because he's having troubles with his, his parents. I think his dad is just not setting him cash for rent. And then Mika starts. Oh, I have no idea what's happening here. Mika starts showing Luca his nudes. Is that what's happening? I am not. I swear to God, I was paying attention. I put down nudes in my notes, and so I'm just gonna put that out there, I guess. I'm pretty sure this comes back later. Mika's talking about um, an online dating site. And then I think Luca decides to download it and join it at the end of the episode. I told we'll get to it. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, so they're just talking about um, dicks. Yeah, it's casual Saturday morning combo. Mika is delightfully vulgar. This scene was, was cute though. Mika and Lisa do not s seem to like Luca. I don't think they, do they like him. I don't think they like him. They just miss Manon. Man was just their ringleader. It's always that. It was always that Nora was their leader, and they're super obsessed with her for some reason. Anyways, next day, friends, and Luca is at school, and he finds out. I think this is him finding out that Elliot is in his class. Um, yeah, I think that's what that was. And um, Luca is a happy boy. 
And then Alexander's there. Brief interruption. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but for a few seconds, my mic kind of malfunctioned. I don't know what was going on here. I don't know what happened, but my mic started doing some weird shits, and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to ruin your experience. I'm sorry for the interruption, but I just need to say that to let you know that I acknowledge the mistake that I've made. And then Luca says that he's happy for him and Emma. And Alex has no idea what he's talking about. So I guess Alexander and Emma aren't a thing in this remake. Or at this point, I mean, they were clearly making out at that party. They were getting into it. And I guess Alex doesn't really want that. I swear to God, in OG Scam, I'm pretty sure it was Chris who wanted that. But it was like, no, I'm not about you. Like, you suck or you're just not my type. We're just, we're just hooking up. Next day or later. Later on, Luca is in class, and there's some more light stalking from Luca. He's watching one of Elliot's videos again. It's very cute. Elliot, oh, I like this part. Elliot is telling um, a story in one of his videos, and it's basically the plot of this season. I noticed that he's talking about these two people who fall in love, and they're both scared. One of them is scared. And then one of them is a hero who's afraid. I don't, okay, I don't, I don't think I'm explaining it right, but it's actually really cute. Yeah. These two guys who are just afraid of the world, or two people, he doesn't really say their gender, and he's explaining the plot of this season, this scene, which is so cool. And they do it again in this episode, I notice, um, with this video thing, and we'll, we'll get to that. I keep getting ahead of myself. Okay, so... Iman is there now, and Luca discreetly asks about more meetings in the common room. He just wants to see Elliot. He just wants some more Elliot. Oh, he is infatuated. And Iman is suspicious for a second, and but she does end up giving his drugs back. Remember his drugs from last episode when she found them at the party, I think? And she was like, you can have your drugs back if you come to the common room. She like blackmails him, which is... Okay. I mean, it was for a bestie, so I guess it's fine. Um, yeah, she gives him back his, um, his, his grass. And then the teacher catches them. Iman covers for Luca, which is so sweet. She, um, I love her. She's amazing. She's perfect, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, everything. I'm so happy right now. Season three is just, it's making me feel things that I'm enjoying. Anyways, next scene. We're in the common room now, and the girls are talking about their next common room occasion thing they're talking about ideas like clubs for their club ideas for their clubs oh my god daphne gets a note from her secret admirer in the suggestions spoiler alert it's basil we already know it's it's kind of cute though and daphne's not having any of it daphne does not care she's um she seems pretty disgusted <laughs> come on daphne i mean i keep going on about how i don't like basil but i like daphne and i want daphne to be happy she has, she went through such a tough time the last season, last two seasons. So earlier, I forgot to mention, Emma was on the phone with Alex, all angry. And he was saying that she told the school that they were in a relationship, which was not true. It was Luca and he is mad about it. Alex is mad that Emma supposedly spilled the beans about their um, maybe relationship. And I'm still here thinking Alex actually liked Emma. I guess it's a no. Maybe it happens later. Later on, Luca meets up with his guys. Basil is weird. Artur is beautiful. And Jan is questioning Luca about all the time he's been spending with the girls. He's like, why are you always hanging out with them? It's so gross. Like, why do you have friends that are girls? It's so creepy. Who do you think you are? What are you doing? Where are your friends? You don't need to have other friends. Like, what? Ew. And, you know, I, um, okay. And what's her name again? Um, damn. Chloe. I forget got her name for a second sorry chloe yeah chloe chloe she asks luca if he wants to go to a party with her and luca clearly doesn't want to but the guys do and they're like calling him a bitch for not saying yeah i really want to go to the party okay let's go to the party you know they're just like the guys are irritated that luca hesitated for a second but luca doesn't want to hang out with chloe okay he wants to hang out with elliot chloe is a little clingy he literally says that he's like she's so clingy and she's stressing me out but the guys are like no we're going to the party incoming intermission 
Okay, friends, we are going into intermission. This is the second one, and I think I'm going to keep doing these because, you know, we need, a, we need a little break from talking about scam from time to time. It's, it gets pretty stressful. Uh, I have a few things that I want to talk about. Yeah, I've been talking about OG scam a lot. Um, I have no idea if um, I want to watch OG scam again. I know a lot of you have been asking. None of you have been asking. <laughs> we were actually talking about it a couple of days ago. Like, should we watch OG Scam and review every episode? And I was just like, mm, I don't know. I mean, it's been at least two years since we've rewatched OG Scam and talked about it. I don't really know if I want to do that though. I don't get me wrong. I freaking love OG Scam. I <laughs> I'm obsessed with. It. Are you kidding me? Um, but I'm not sure. Um, to go back again, I mean, it is, ugh, the first two seasons are a lot more entertaining than Scam Friends. Maybe that's why I'm so um, hesitant about it. But uh, to rewatch those stories again, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I should give it a couple of months because I do have an order in which I'm going to watch all of the remakes in the Scampers. Okay, I have the schedule, guys. It's not, it's not written in stone. It's nothing um completely established but like here's what we thought of so scam france season one to three and then maybe og scam season one to three and then scam austin season one and two and then nl seasons one and two just to get those out of the way because they're cancelled and then scam france season four and then onward um the rest of them and then what the fuck season one to five and then natalia all of it and then Espana. I'm not sure how much I'll watch of that, but maybe one, two, three? I don't even know how many seasons there are of Espana or Italia. And then season four of OG, and then seasons the rest of Druk. That's the sketch. I'm um, it's as I said, it's not something that we're totally all agreed on, but I don't know, it's just it's just there, just in case we wanna do it that way. Okay, what else are we going to talk about, guys? Um, weekend plans. So what are your plans, guys? You can't talk back to me, so I don't know why I'm asking. So my weekend plans. Actually, I actually have plans this weekend. I never do, but I thought I'd take a break and just finally do something. We're going to go, me and Cass and Renata, we're going to go zip lining. Me? I'm not doing that. I'm not. I will be not doing that because I'm afraid of heights. I will be on the ground while they are up in the air. I'll be on the ground taking pics. That's what I'll be doing <laughs> during the weekend and cheering them on. I don't like my ass in the air. And then Cass wants me to <laughs> talk about my paintings. Yeah, I mentioned that on my last um, review about my painting. Um, it's going good. It's okay, I guess. I don't know what else to say. I'm terrible at it, but it's a lot of fun because I'm so bad at it. I've also been busy with school. School is happening. School sucks. I'm really looking forward to the winter break because yeah, sleep, yeah. But I can't believe I spend most of this intermission talking about scam and I said that I wouldn't be talking about scam. How does that happen? It's literally taking control of my life. I also wanted to mention that um, for this episode, most of the work with some of my friends, like Cass and Renata, they did most of the editing and all of that. Okay, all I had was the intro. You already know that. I, I, I made the snappy intro. I'm very proud of it. I've just been really busy with school and they've had a lot more time than I do to do stuff, which is why I asked them to help me with these podcasts. And it's just really great to have them. Anyways, back to the episode, guys. You know, the guys are kind of annoying me at this point. I don't know, they just seem so rude to Luca. They're just yelling at him all the time and blaming him for- I mean, I'm not saying Luca didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he did not. He didn't get them the beer the other day and he ditched them when he was supposed to go to the party. And then there was the weed thing. He didn't get them there. He lost the grass and then he took a while to get it back. And now there's this. But they don't have to be so mean about it. Jeez, they treat him like he's a, a child or something. It's kind of irritating. Um, I don't, I don't remember if it was like this in OG Scam. I think they were just, they were more playful about it. But in this one, they're like so mean to him. Like, calm down, guys. It's just a party. These guys have no cooth. And now it's two days later and Luca is watching more of Elliot's videos. Something I noticed years ago, actually. I mentioned this earlier in the review. Now I'm bringing it back up again. So I noticed that in this video that Luca is watching, an animated type video Elliot put together is an actual scene in the show that happens later on. That's pretty cool, right? 
it's the same exact thing if I remember correctly. I remember seeing that in a in a video on YouTube. It's it's interesting. I like that. It's really cute actually. And then Luca spontaneously decides to join a gay dating site. Okay, I don't know where this decision came from. It's so out of the blue. He's just like watching Elliot's video. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna download, what was it? I don't remember the name of the site, but he downloads it. And then he freaks out at the end. The picture that Luca sees at the end of the scene is one of Mika. I'm pretty sure that was the same picture from earlier that he was showing Luca in that first scene. Now it's the next day, guys, and the bros are talking about the party they were going to. Chloe's party. And then Jan asks about the weed for a second. And the guys put Luca in charge of buying drinks. Moving on. So later, while waiting for the bus, Luca is asking his papa to send some cash. Homeboy needs to pay the rent and buy some Henny for the bros. And then Elliot is there, ever the silent walker. And God, did I already mention I love him? And then Luca tells Elliot about his situation with the beer. He wants to buy beer for his friends. And Elliot offers to help. So they go to his place. Ooh. Okay, now we're at Elliot's place. And Luca is looking at his drawings and they're talking about it some foreshadowing it's very cute um i remember this from my from watching a, a couple years ago how elliot draws little cute cartoon versions of themselves which is really cool i i i, I wish I had, I had that kind of talent raccoons are elliot's spirit animal he says we, um okay interesting I don't know, do I have a spirit animal? What's your spirit animal? Tell me your spirit animal. Comment that, please. I'm very curious. I don't think I have a spirit animal. Maybe a kitty cat. I like cats. I feel like I can relate to cats very much. And Luca asks what Elliot would draw him as, like what his animal would be. And Elliot does not know yet. And then they decide to smoke Jan's weed. Okay, that's <laughs> later on. And these guys are faded. Chloe is texting Luca, asking him where he is, where his friends are. And the guys text him, mad, they're really mad. And Luca tells them that the party was canceled, which it was not. He just wants to spend some time with Mr. Elliot. And Elliot <laughs> decides to do a little dance for Luca. Okay, it's, it happened. It's, wow. And they talk about music for a while. Unsurprisingly, Luca has wonderful taste in music but i can learn to love um elliot's taste in music i can learn to love what is it electronic music um i'll try i'll try for him and then later on luca notices a piano and decides to play a little oh holy crabs this was so cute though luca starts playing and elliot is like damn marry me immediately I love this so much. My heart. Oh my god. I'm loving the cinematography of this season. I said that in the last review, and I gotta say it again because it's just so good. I mean, it's super simple, okay? It's nothing amazing and out, out of this world. It's just really simple and sweet and and tender, if that's the right word. Yeah. Elliot um, suddenly has to go meet someone, though, some of his friends, so their night has come to an end. And he leaves, and Luca leaves, smitten, if I may add. And then Luca gets a text from Chloe, and she's mad at him. She's done with him. She's like, fuck you, you're a dick, and I don't deserve you. And then to top it all off, he... Uh, and then we... we get, uh, okay, so Elliot meets up with his girlfriend, who is supposed to be his girlfriend. We don't know yet, we don't know yet. I mean, I know, but we're not supposed to know who this person is. Obviously, his girlfriend. And Luca's like, oh my god. What? Why is it he's seeing his future husband with a girl? And he's like, what in the world is happening here? It's... Oh. <laughs> it's a lot. It's... Wow, I don't know if I'm just emotional because it's three in the morning. And I'm talking about scam friends. That's probably it. I get pretty emotional at this time of... This time of the day or the night, the night, really, honestly. And yeah. 
but that's the end of the episode this was super short guys wow my last one was so long this one is pretty short i guess it's fine it didn't, not much happened on this episode really it was a really interesting episode though interesting but at the same time not really interesting because nothing much happened but still some stuff happened and i'm happy about that um let's just go through them real quick before we get into the outro okay i'm kind of tempted to watch the next episode now but i gotta wait a week um, Elliot and Luca are obviously really cute and have a ton of chemistry. I already said that in the last review. Luca seems to be confused about himself, maybe a little uncomfortable, but it seems like Elliot will help him find himself and whatnot. He seems to really come into himself when he's around Elliot, which is really nice. And then Luca laying down his friends and his friend girl, Chloe, obviously made him feel like crap at the end. I literally can't remember what happens next. It'll come back to me though. I'll, we'll give it a week. I noticed that they switched out the weird sandwich thing with the piano playing. Like that scene where um, Evan makes Isaac a... I don't even know what it was, but I don't even want to talk about it because it was so gross. And they end up eating it. Oh my god, that was so weird. I'd like to remind you that I have Instagram, so feel free to follow me on there at Scam Reviews. If you're viewing this on YouTube, Comment down below, please, and like. As I said earlier, please like. I mean, if you aren't viewing this on YouTube, come down to my channel, Delia Talks. That's Delia with three E's because I'm cork. And join the conversation or start it. Let's just talk about Scam France together, season three. Come on. Thank you for the people who tuned in last week. Oh, I was so happy with the results. That was it, was, it was really great. Thank you so much for being there and for subscribing. That's all for today's review. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you will stick around for more. I try to post once a week, Fridays. Um, feel free to share with your fellow scam lovers, and I'll see you next Friday.